Good evening. So Galactic War, I need to get in before this all times out. Um, I'm gonna run Shore Trooper, uh, but otherwise, yeah, let's run with this. So this is my seven. Oh wow! Well, that was nice. There we are. These should really well. These should go fairly quickly. The uh, the early ones. And then I've got to work out whether or not I'm gonna just hop. Zeta. Oh, so Zeta. I wish. Omega at a time, or am I gonna hoard them up for a bit and deploy a few at once? There we are. Took a little while to get rolling that time, but once we did, it was juggernaut time. Oh, two shards there. Do hit rather hard. Right, I need to remember to end this with cooldowns or oh, abilities ready.
oh, it's just too tiring. It's just far too tiring. So that is a Barris lead. Um, Barris was kind of synonymous with timeout teams because of the length of time it takes to beat them because you know, they timed you out. Um, I get it, it's really defensive, yada yada yada. Um, it's just really annoying at the same time. So the way around it is just not to crit. You don't crit, you don't proc, you don't proc, then you kind of null in a lot of what they do. Okay. Just wanted to see how many I could overpower. Three, I think, wasn't it? Savage took three of them. So that's how you deal with uh, uh, Zaris, uh, yeah, non quit squad. And now we can return to who I wanted to run, which isn't quite the squad. I'm just being lazy. Um, so you and you drop out and you come back in and the man in the long white coat also comes back in. Not coat, cape. It's a cape. It's fortunate he can't fly, isn't he? As we all know. No capes! So this squad doesn't do very well against like the anti-crits, but seems to do okay against most others. Um, not so good from what I've found against Rex leads. Excuse me.
Oh, this is going to be an horrible one. Okay. Again, it's just a horrible <sighs> defensive squad that, yeah. Sorry, no disrespect to the person whose squad it is. You know, obviously, we have 119 tunes apparently to choose from. You choose who you want. And I get it, it's really defensive. Um, I just wonder if you faced it constantly would you just carry on using it uh, i suppose you would it's just Oh, brilliant, yeah. I love the fact that you, you miss with the first shot, but there's no foresight showing to indicate that you're going to miss with that hit. I didn't realize. Please, devs, will you sort out the graphics on this so that we're able to see everybody in the screen and what they have? Because it does really dictate on what you do where. Um, I'm getting the ump because I know that the clock's ticking and I need to beat this squad, and this squad is designed not to be beaten. Um, Don't have a double zeted R2. Yeah. This poxy eyeball every time. Every time, what is that? You've got a guy here with, what, 80, 90 combination of speed and protection. And he still needs foresight between turns. What is that? I don't know what I just said there.
didn't get the double annihilate. I opted not to. So there we are. Don't proc them and you beat them. Um, and who are we facing here? Okay, well, let's just try. I want to do as many Tarkin nodes as possible. Um, and again, Mr. White Cape, paging Mr. White Cape. Of course, what I haven't done is actually stuck my GK in here yet. Which is an option, of course. Yay, and that's it. And this, the hard note, no, they haven't come into play yet. The fact that easy, easy or broken nodes may become a thing of the past. That'd be a shame. kind of something that we all strive for isn't it you have to get a squad good enough to be or to enable you to have that easy last node I insist Grand Moth thank you it was your show tonight Who do we get at the end? Bigs, that is fives, isn't it? No, it's Echo. There we go. And Foo. And no Amigas. Uh, okay, all done. Thank you for watching. And now I know.